thinking about making the move to Barcelona, or Spain for that matter, then you're in luck because today I'm going to share with you 10 of the most important things that you should know about before making the move. Welcome to my channel guys, my name is James. Before we get into the details today of all the topics that we're going to talk about, be sure to like my video down below and to subscribe to my channel to help it grow. I will appreciate it greatly. So chances are, if you're looking at moving to Barcelona, it has a lot to do with the weather, as it did for me when I finally made my decision on moving to the city. The weather in Barcelona is good from April until October. You have over nine months of sunshine, but even during the winter months, they're quite mild because the city is located right on the Mediterranean. The city itself and the general area of where it is it's a fantastic area to live because during the months you can go to the beach almost any day that you want. The salary in Barcelona, or the average income, is not the best in Europe. You're looking at the minimum income of about 900 for the most majority of Spain and about 15 to 1700 euros for median income. But the good thing is that Barcelona is one of the richest capitals in Spain besides Madrid. Which brings us into our next subject, is finding an apartment or a place to stay. The past several years there has been a price increase in the city and it's been getting harder and harder, to be honest, to try to find a place that's anything for under a thousand euros. If you're looking at a place to stay in the Barcelona or in the city centre, expect to be paying 900 or a thousand or even maybe more per month for an apartment that's about 50 or 60 square metres. And that doesn't mean that you're going to have a balcony or a garage or any of this, but expect to be paying these prices. And if you're not going to be looking at a whole apartment, but instead, if you're going to be looking for a room, expect to be paying prices about five or six hundred for per room per month. The prices in the city center have been increasing astronomically, and this is why. If you come to the city, I would recommend places that are at least close to the city center or because this is more likely where you're going to be finding work. Places such as Gracia, even maybe Barceloneta. But realistically, since there's been such a large price increase, I would recommend moving outside of the city that still has good transportation. Now, when you're looking for an apartment in Barcelona, you want to keep in mind places, again, that the cheaper places may not be the safest places. But when you speak about safety in Barcelona, for me, in general, if you're a tourist, Barcelona's safe. I mean, apparently, of course you have pickpockets and you have people that will rob and steal from you. But if you use common sense and if you put your wallet in your front pocket and you don't put a big, you know, pick me on your back, you should be okay. But the thing is, is that when you're looking for an apartment or a place to stay, there are places I would say are a no-go and I would not recommend looking. In places such as Bourne or El Raval is another area. It's not necessarily that these are bad places, it's just that they may not be the best places to be living when you're in an area that may not be the safest in the city. Now, the most important thing of moving to Spain is getting your paperwork sorted. And if you are from the European Union, then it's great and it's super easy because all you need basically is your passport. But if you're from the United States, you're going to have to go through and to get a visa beforehand before you even can apply for any paperwork in this country. Now, after you have your visa or if you just have your passport, when you come to Spain, you're going to have to get your NIE, which is basically your social security number for us in America. You have to use this document for everything, for opening a bank, for renting an apartment, for getting a job, for doing everything basically in your life. Then you have to get a social security card, which is for all the medical. You have to get your medical card. And then you also have to get, it's called El Padron. And this card, or this paper, El Padron, basically certifies that you live at this or that address. So once you have all this paperwork, you will easily be able to find work, to find a job. Now, you can either go through and do this process yourself. You can easily do it once to go through the rigmarole of trying to figure everything out, or you can actually pay a service to do it for you. Now, I will leave a few links down below if you want to look at the paperwork. 
and if you want to look at the process of doing it, and I'll also leave a few links below if you want to actually hire someone to do all the paperwork for you. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you plan on driving when you move to Barcelona or Spain, if you're from an EU country then it should be easier because Spain should have an agreement with the country that you're from in the European Union of either extending your permit or of felicitating the permit and changing the actual permit. But if you're from the United States or Canada, there is no agreement that I know of and you can get an international driving permit from AAA or from other companies before you move to Spain if you intend on driving after you move. One thing that you need to be ready for is that as soon as you come to Spain, whether you're visiting or whether you're going to live here, are that the meal times are a lot later than you may be accustomed to. Basically anything below the French border is going to be later. So lunch and dinner, instead of being at 12 and 7, are going to be more like 1.30 to about 3 for lunch. And then dinner anywhere between 7, 8 and maybe even 10 and maybe even a little later the further south that you go. Now for me it's not a problem and I know for most people it won't be either but it's a good idea to keep this in mind when you're making the move to Barcelona. The public transportation in Barcelona is excellent. They have everything between the buses, the trams and the metro and everything is interconnected so basically with the same card you can take the bus, the tram and the metro within a selected time and go from point A to point B. So the languages in Barcelona are obviously Spanish but the local language is Catalan. Now, if you're living and working in the city center, then it's not necessarily a problem. However, it would be a good idea to start learning a bit of Spanish, at least when you live in Spain. The good thing is that when you work and live in the city center, everyone will speak English and a lot of businesses are looking for people that actually speak English for their businesses because it's so touristy. If you've been working in places that I have, such as London or even in the United States, then Barcelona is a lot more laid back than what you're used to, which is a nice change if you like it because it's easy to be able to get off of work, go to the beach and just relax. As the further south you go, the more laid back they are as well, as you will see grandpas and grandmothers sitting on benches during the day just watching the tourists and people walk by. But it's definitely nice because the pace of life here is a little slower and is more relaxed. Now the last subject for me is very important because I can get bored very easily if I live in a place that doesn't have anything to do. But Barcelona is full of activities. It's full of art, history, if you want to go parasailing or jet skiing, windsurfing, skydiving, whatever there is, Barcelona has it. Now I have a list on activities to do on my website which I'll leave down below if you want to check it out. But this is definitely a fantastic city to live in because on your days off, honestly, it's endless. You're only about two hours from the French border just to the north and since you're more or less centered in Europe you can easily fly basically anywhere in Europe within a couple hours. The airport is very close to the city as well so it makes traveling to and from Barcelona to visit other countries extremely easy and the city in general for me I am very happy living in Barcelona and for me is more or less the perfect city. I've given you 
a little bit of insight into what to expect in moving to Barcelona and I hope that this video has helped you make the decision on whether to move. If you have any questions whatsoever, do not hesitate to comment down below and ask me and I'll be happy to help you. I also have a few other things on my website about what to do in Barcelona, places to go and to visit. Be sure to like my video down below and to subscribe to my channel for more content and I'll see you in the next video. I mean